5.30 in the morning and we have a big pile of bags there that are staying. Our group is assembled here in the lobby and we're loading bags onto our bus, getting ready to fly in to Lukla. So we're excited because the weather does look good today. Okay, we just left the Yak and Yeti. It's about 6.30 in the morning. We're at the domestic terminal in Kathmandu. There's our group heading into the uh, terminal we're going to go through security and uh, good news is the uh, Luke airport report is that the weather's clear and that's always a little bit stressful because it gets cloudy up there but okay this is our security check at the Kathmandu airport domestic terminal it's got a line for ladies and a line for gents and uh, send our bags through Okay, so I do a quick pat down, nothing big. Now we're heading into the gate area, so we'll go through a second security screening. It's really important on the trek because a lot of people carry pocket knives, little things like that. You don't want to have them in your day pack. You want to have them in your check luggage. Okay, this is the second security screening. So this is where if you had a knife in your day pack, they're gonna see it and they're gonna take it. Otherwise, you can have liquids like your water bottles full. Um, you can have all your trekking gear. We usually do put a, a separate bag with the trekking poles in them for the group and fly that in as a checked bag. Um, they don't really like trekking poles uh, on the flight with you as well. We've got a group of 14. So we'll fill one whole plane ourselves for our flight into Lukla. We're uh, getting ready to fly in. The nice thing is that the weather in Lukla looks clear today, so we're optimistic that we're gonna be able to fly and uh, start our trek. About 30 minutes or so on a Twin Otter high-winged uh, twin-engine plane and um, should be good. We'll hope for good views on the flight and uh, we'll get in there We'll meet the rest of the Worldwide Trekking team. The Sherpa guys are in there waiting. And then we'll slowly start our walk um, up the solo lower Kumbu Valley uh, to Phok Ding uh, for two and a half hours or so. Then after we get to Phok Ding, we'll have lunch. And then uh, after lunch, we'll make our way up to Manjo and spend the night in Manjo. Good start, the group is excited. We're gonna get going here on our trek and this is the domestic airport in Kathmandu heading for our trek to Everspace Camp. Okay, now we're inside the uh, gate areas, came through the second security check. Seems a little chaotic for people here, but really um, we'll take up the whole flight. We've got our number and uh, we'll go in when they're ready for us and uh, head on into Luke, we'll start our trek. Okay, we are boarding the bus now, heading to the uh, plane itself on the tarmac. Somebody commented they were bugged in and Luke were coming back. About 30 minute flight, we're in, all good. As weather, we're gonna start our trek now, meet our crew. Okay, we are in Manjo, and uh, today we flew into Lukla. We get in, got in on the fixed wing. Uh, about 30 minute flight from Kathmandu, landed, regrouped, stopped for some tea, and, and kind of got the bags sorted, and then made our way from Lukla to Phok Ding, where we stopped for lunch. And then after lunch from Phok Ding, to Manjo again is about two hours walking and um, there's quite a bit of up and down. On this portion of the trek, right when we start out, there's a lot of stone steps, um, which is kind of challenging for people in a way. They're just getting started, just getting going on the trek and they're just kind of uh, warming up to it. So we made our way to Manjo. We were really happy all the bags made it in, all of the um, equipment made it in and we are spending the night in Manjo so we're right at the edge of the Sagamartha National Park tomorrow we'll start out go into the National Park and work our way up and on into Namche Bazaar